About a year and a half ago, uh, Ms. Donna Swigart uh, approached a group of students and uh, trying to let us uh, in on, a, uh, on the project. You know, uh, she pitched the idea that they were going to come up with an alumni ring, an official alumni ring for the University of Texas Pan American, and she really wanted uh, her students to be a part of that. The, the community just needs some involvement here with the students having a hand in something like that because students are going to be wearing it. The details on the ring, they will see um, on the top, they'll have a shield that is directly pulled from the Edinburgh Auditorium, which is one of our historical buildings for the university. It's a crest on the side of the building, and it was really intriguing because here's this crest, and, and crests really feel historical, and, and so it's this beautiful shield that's pulled from the building. The walkway was uh, something that we uh, considered to be uh, representational for the students this is a sign of symbol of protection you know the down here in the valley you know very very uh, home oriented we're very family oriented we like to protect each other along with the the oak tree that was planted in 1927 when the college was built it's an 85 year old oak tree now it's going to be 85 years this year that the university was built so since it was planted in commemoration with the building of the first Edinburgh College. We thought that was very important and should be on there also. On one side, uh, it states Semper Puro, which is forever onward, which represents our alma mater. The memory stole, everyone kind of wanted to be on there because it's one tradition that the students are very familiar with now. Because at graduation, you get your memory stole and you give it to your, your parents or someone special to you there. And so that was just, it's one tradition that everyone knows by now. We did over 60 designs uh, with 30 different of the jewelry students. We ref kept refining them as the students made them. Uh, the committee was so interested in the student involvement that they had the students designing. When we got to a point that um, the, students ha the students had designed things and the committee liked it, then we took it to the Jostens designer. And they worked back and forth with us trying to get a final design. Going to Jostens and seeing the process of the ring was very insightful because I don't think a lot of people realize how many hands actually touch a ring before you get that finished ring. It's very, it's all handwork. It is manufacturing but from the moment that it becomes a wax to a finished ring it's touched by 20 to 30 different pairs of hands that help finish that ring. So it was very insightful to see that process that hey it's still all busy work and handwork that goes into making this final product. I'm just really glad that it was a whole group effort of students that they had a hand in making it. Because mm -hmm. they're all individuals in every little opinion, every tiny little thing that anyone said kind of went into it. If one person didn't think of something and it was like, oh, you thought of that. And it was just kind of evolved over the course of a year into being this really nice, elegant, well-rounded ring that I think represents the university very well.